What's up, everyone? This is a ZZ podcast, and I am its host, Samira ZZ. And guess what? We're doing this in English this time.、Uh, this is a Russian-speaking podcast, but since I have moved to Toronto, and everyone, no one really speaks Russian around here, or as far as I know, so I'm going to be slowly transitioning to、uh, English, and I'll try to be、uh, articulate, I guess. Anyway, so another cool thing is what I'm trying right now is I'm actually recording this as a video podcast. So this is for the first time in my life. So I'm a little bit excited and worried at the same time. I need to figure out how to make sure that I'm always staring at this little thing. And of course, for the first time I'm doing this, I have this freaking sty under my eye somewhere here.、Uh, so this is frustrating. And even though it is not live, I'm actually、um, like getting a little anxious because. This is will this will be posted later, and you're gonna see my face, and you will hear my Russian accent. Although I don't think it's as you know out there as I thought it would be. Anyways, just a little bit about myself. So I'm just the guy from Kazakhstan. I've spent、uh, I've spent、uh, nine years in the United States.、Uh, went to school there when I was 17.、Um, graduated from UCSB. Basically, spent all this time in California. Um, and yeah, so then after that, I lived in Kazakhstan for the past year. And 30 days ago, exactly 30 days ago, I have、uh, moved to Toronto, Canada, where I am now trying to establish myself as a permanent resident. Well, I am a per- permanent resident right now, but I'm, you know, trying to be a a useful part of the society, so to say. Anyways. So that's that. So I've been doing this podcast since、uh, late June, early July. Yeah, late June. So it's been thirty episodes so far, and、uh, all of them were audio episodes. And all of my guests who I invited were always expecting video cameras around them because this they all thought this is some sort of a Joe Rogan style thing. But no, it's just the just the podcast. Anyways, so I've discovered that I actually can do a a video with my laptop. Without installing any additional software, but、uh, QuickTime. So, so yeah, QuickTime is actually working. So I feel really stupid for not using it before because I actually could have recorded some cool content. Anyways, so、um, that's that, and、uh, this is just like a, a little, a little introduction to to the podcast in English, and I'll I'll、uh, I'll see how it's gonna work out. I was actually very, I mean, I always was very self conscious about. You know the way that I'm an immigrant and that English is not my first language. So,、uh, you know, just recently I started to understand that, hey, actually, you know, the way how I speak English is is sort of understandable, and people can understand what I'm saying without actually doing like this little. Ah, I don't know, sure what he said, but、um, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna nod and pretend I do understand it. So, so that's good, and.、Um, So、I'll, I I hope that it's going to be comprehensive and it's not going to be an issue. But if it is an issue, I don't care. Anyways, so what I'm trying to do here is、um, for my Russian podcast, I'll usually invite some people,、um, like a guest or something, and we would discuss something in particular, like IT guys.、Um, I had some plane pilots,、uh, helicopter pilots. I had some parachute. I don't know how they. Skydivers or something like that, how they call him in English, but yeah, so、uh, great girls and guys, and uh, um, so that was pretty much all、uh, I've done. I was just talking to them on different subjects on their expertise.、Um, I'm thinking to do the same thing here in、uh, in Canada, in Toronto, or how they call it without the T, Toronto, Toronto. So yeah, I'm trying to get to that to that level of being local where I can say Toronto without saying the T, Toronto, so that everyone's like, oh my god, he says Toronto. He's so local, <sighs> yeah. So yeah, you you you're probably gonna expect all this goofiness from me.、Uh, it's funny because when I speak in English, I'm actually a different person than when I speak in Russian. Like when I speak in Russian, I'm more of a I don't want to say like cold or、uh, um, or something like not well mannered guy, but I'm definitely more straightforward and less of an Less, less of a goofball, although, although not, not really, not really. But、uh, it's just, it's, it's weird when you adopt this different language. You're sort of adopting a different personality as well. And the fact that I've spent all this time in the United States and in California in particular, sort of,、um, I don't know. I, I have this a little like of, of a, of a little, I don't know, car salesman. I would say, uh, uh, manner of speech or something like that, which is. 
I don't know. I'm okay with. It. I hope y'all are okay with that as well. But anyways, I'm trying to figure out who can I invite to my podcast and uh, who can I talk to here. But the main point of this podcast is mainly um, pleasure, right? So it's not my work. It's my. It's not something that I have to do. But from the day one, my main rule of this podcast was I have to do what I like. And I have to invite people that I like and I want to talk to them on the subjects that I'm interested in. And so that's sort of the mantra because I really want this to be a source of my pleasure, right? Uh, This little hobby that really gives me, you know, fun feelings. So definitely trying to be very free about it, very flexible. I don't have any established rules. It's really usually like a conversation. Usually I would invite... um, a person and um, we would just talk for an hour sometimes we would talk for like three three hours and it's going to be like some full-on joe rogan conversation but this is really hard and and so you have to really be prepared to do that so i'm, I'm trying to keep it to an hour sometimes i talk by myself like like here and i and i call those segments um thought of the day um where i'm just sort of discussing something that came to my mind or something that i usually do or or something that i really want to talk about so i have about i um, maybe three of them or four of them so if you speak Russian, hey, this is your opportunity. But uh, if not, I'll probably do something in English. Hey, I'm actually doing this right now. So there you go. This is your first thing that you can listen for me and you can actually look at me. So the whole thing that I'm doing this video is a huge progress. This is like huge for me. So I never actually showed my face. Um, well, I mean, I did, but like, it's not like I wasn't really presenting, especially in English uh, to anyone. So here you go. Now you can see me. Now you can hear how I... Um, I guess speak, uh, but in any case, um, I'm not gonna go too much into details. This is going to be like a quick one. I'm going to invite some English speakers and we talk about some things. I really want to talk to sports people, sports people, especially not the sports men or women. Although I would be happy to invite them as well. Uh, but I'd like. I'm really interested in sports industry, sports management, and all of the professions behind it. Uh, so I, I want to talk. I want to talk to them, and so I'll see. Maybe in Canada, it's it's a, it's a, it's a Toronto is a very sports oriented city, or at least a lot of franchises are here. By a lot, I mean probably four or five, but they're pretty big. So, go Raptors, go Leafs, go Toronto FC. Toronto FC is, by the way, my favorite so far. I went to the, the Leafs game and the and the Toronto FC soccer club football, and you know the the football guys really deliver. Anyways. But, I mean, go Leafs, right? I'm just realizing that all of them are pretty good, and, and this is all new for me. But, uh, but, yeah. So, we'll see how it goes. By the way, I actually have another uh, English episode with Tom Loeffler. He is, promo- he is the promoter for Triple G, Gennady Golovkin, the world-famous boxer. And he's also the head of the 360 Promotions and the managing director of the Triple G Promotions. And it was super cool to hear his life story that basically I was just asking him, hey, how did you start? How did you get to this point? And and he's been able to tell, you know, from the very beginning how he got involved in that, what was his experience, how he met Muhammad Ali and all of that. So I definitely recommend you to check it out. I'm actually thinking even maybe reposting it and do some do some introduction to that episode as well. Anyways, so this is it. I guess that's my first episode in English. And I hope you all, you all will enjoy it. And uh, I hope this is not the last one. So we'll see how it goes. Anyways, this was Azizi Podcast. Don't forget to shoot me an email at azizipodcast at gmail.com. Hit that subscribe button. And I guess I'm going to post this on YouTube now. Is this like a YouTube thing? I don't know. Usually I'm on Podbean and then the RSS goes to everywhere. But if it's a video, I guess it's YouTube. Yeah. Anyways. Alrighty. Thank you, everyone. Bye.